Uh, clearly, the net got to where it was because of its total openness and the fact that it really is a dumb network with intelligent edges. That was the whole idea around it when it was created. It wasn't an accident. And the scalability that it has had and will continue to have is direct result of, of those early decisions. Uh, it's a system that is very hard to break, basically impossible to break. Uh, it's a system that continues to evolve in really interesting and valuable ways. And it's precisely because of a lack of control and oversight that that's been achieved. By trying to control it, by trying to direct it, you'll basically be killing the system that's probably responsible for the greatest source of innovation in the last 20 years. The most important thing is just keep your hands off it. Uh, keep your hands off. But more than that, foster the, this independence. You know, create laws that uh, allow for, for the continued independence of the creators of the content, access between uh, uh, people, access to information. I think uh, I would say China, in fact, is doing itself a huge disservice by trying to contr control it. I think what will happen is, uh, although they are making great strides in a lot of ways, this kind of control can only hurt them in the long term. I don't know if I have any particular fears, uh, per se. I mean, there's the um, standard fear that, uh, you know, in the future, everybody will be given a button that they can press that will destroy the world. Everyone will have their own. Uh, that's probably uh, not too far from the truth, as these things that we're doing, these things that we're creating are extraordinarily powerful. Biotech, computer technologies, you know, personal nukes, it's all happening, it's all going to be available. Um, I actually think, however, that as we mature uh, socially, and I, I mean by, by that, that uh, it's not just, you know, the people who have who mature, but, the, you know, the people who have figuring out that the people who have not need to have as well, uh, once we sort of balance those scales a bit, I think, these risks will be mitigated to a large degree. Uh, you can't ever really protect yourself from terrorists. Uh, all you can do is remove people's reasons for becoming terrorists. And uh, unfortunately, not a lot of efforts being put into that. But uh, I think that's where the real hope is. Uh, so, and I think that will have to happen. It's simply, it's absolutely essential. Well, the one thing that we see uh, that these kinds of technologies do, that we can do, is break down barriers between people. Uh, I mean, in a, in a, it's very interesting to me that uh, games like World of Warcraft are extraordinarily successful in China. So you can play, you know, these the, these games with somebody who's not just a world away, but a culture away. Uh, so we start seeing a common vision of the world. We see, uh, have a common understanding of the world. That potential is absolutely there for that. And we start having this opportunity not just to understand, but start leveraging other people. We see that economically already happening, where we have these huge dependencies of you know uh, one country on another. Uh, you, know, uh, you couldn't take China away right now and have the United States still stand simply because they provide so much of the critical infrastructure. But every country is sort of dependent upon every other country in the same way. Uh, so that there's no country that could be taken out of the loop or no economic sector could be taken out of the loop. It's really kind of uh, totally and massively interconnected in a very positive way. And I think that's uh, as that interconnectedness evolves and grows, I think that you're going to find that there's going to be deeper understandings, deeper interactions, uh, a more positive end result of the world. You really create a true world community there. There are too many. Um, obviously, the biotech revolution, that we're, we're just beginning to see the tip of the iceberg of that one. Uh, that, that is um, uh, 
that will permeate everything uh, in, in, in ways that we can't even imagine at this point. Computer technologies, I think, in particular, um, uh, technologies that allow for rich, deep collaboration are really interesting. Uh, but, you know, uh, I don't think we're going to see strong AIs emerging over that period of time. We, we've seen so little progress there. And I think it's just fundamentally we don't understand it, and I don't think we will in, in that time frame. But I do believe that using reimagining the computer as a communication device, which is happening right now. Cell phones are computers. They're used for communication. They're, unfortunately, those two pieces of the cell phone are sort of independent. They don't really work together well. But once they do, and there's no reason they can't, but once they do, I think that's going to be sort of an interesting revolution in its own right. So fostering communication collaboration with computers is a central task, a central uh, aspect of transformation in the future. I think, well, of course, we're all opinionated based upon whatever it is we do, but uh, outside of the biotech area, I do think it's uh, massive collaboration, and not just like centralized, but a very decentralized collaboration using very media types we haven't even imagined yet. Basically, uh, I see what's going to happen as uh, right now we have very narrow bandwidth between users, between people. Uh, the scope of that bandwidth is going to grow dramatically to be absolutely huge amount of information that could be exchanged be between users dynamically as part of their everyday bit life. In fact, you'll never not be connected. It's sort of like having your cell phone always connected to all your friends all the time, which is, by the way, how kids use their computers today. They have their instant messages, uh, chat sessions open. They'll have three, four, ten of them open simultaneously, continuing all those all simultaneously. It's not portable enough. It's not easy enough. Uh, and it's not a very wide band bandwidth communication channel. Well, imagine that's much bigger, and it's always there. So I'm always in touch with the ten most important people to me at any given instant. It's not like I have to do anything. They're just there as part of, uh, part of the clothing I wear. Connected.